I don't know if you guys realized it. Hmm. You probably do because you're very savvy. But uh, I'm trending right now. Hmm. I hope you're happy. Hope you're happy with yourself. Well, I mean, I'm not unhappy. <laughs> I, I, I will tell you this, though. Met fans are great. They're unbelievable. I mean, they protect the Met booth as if it's a player. It, it's it's amazing. If, if you cast any kind of aspersion toward Gary, Ron, and Keith, and I did not cast aspersions at all at them. I said they're terrific. They're great. I just thought it was somewhat... A bit of a, a, a hubristic comment that SMY has an ad on this show that says, listen to the best booth in baseball. And Met fans obviously, obviously think it's the best booth in baseball. I get it. But, boy, it's like a cult. If you say anything that is construed as being negative about them, they go crazy. Not that they're the best, that I am the Antichrist. <sighs> It was a somewhat predictable outcome. I, oh, guess I guess so. I'm not losing sleep over, but it's it is unbelievable with the way they defend their booth. It's just amazing. I think their booth is more popular and more important to them than any player on the team. Well, that's 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 but that's the thing. Like you, the the Yankees are so good consistently that the broadcast booth will always be secondary. Now, Mets fans won't want to hear this. They'll think the reason Gary, Ron, and Keith are so big is simply because of how good they and are. And they are great. And while they are very, very good, you would not be paying as much attention, nor would they have the, the same kind of opportunities to sort of wax poetic and tell stories if every year the Mets were competing. I'm sorry, there's a reason the Yankee fans don't care about the booth as much, I and part of it is that they're focused on baseball. Okay. You don't think so? You, you don't think Ranger fans are protective of Sam Rosen? No, not even not like, not, so not this to, level. Not to this level. Don. So no. you don't you don't think a devil if I if if, if no if a if a devil an answer had an answer had a show and had anything slightly negative to say about Sam Rosen, you don't think Ranger fans would come out of the woodwork and support Sam? Not, not nearly like to this Don, degree. This is this is cult like. They I mean, you should read -like. my timeline right now. <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that's, that's out of their it's minds. It's coming from you. It's coming but from Don, you. you are on the show yesterday. I didn't say anything negative about them. I was de I was defending my guys. No, but here's Did what I'm Did I say that they're terrible? I said they're great. I said it a hundred times how great they are. No, you're questioning what you questioned is why did they think that that it would be we would want to do it on this show? Why would we want to say that the best booth in baseball is another booth time. on the show? What do you think the ad's going to say? No, but like... I, I, We're I, good. I see both sides. If I'm Michael, I still don't do it because I don't think there was a win there. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't disagree with his thought. <laughs> I just didn't think there was a win there. And I was right. But I'll argue this with you, Don. No local booth is even close to adored the way Gary, Ron, and Keith are. Part of that is because they're awesome and among the best here. Part of that is because there is something, an, another je ne sais quoi, which I think is loyal Mets fans who sit around at night being loyal fans, watching a ton of meaningless games, and the only but, thing that they enjoy is the great stories uh, I, from I, Gary, Ron, and Keith. I think you're underrating how, a, 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 in most cases, a fan base is going to support their guys. Okay, so let me ask you that, right? So you, you, that's your argument, right? So Met fans are 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 just excoriating me today. I mean, are Yankee fans defending me? Nope, they don't care. Well, that, well, that's why I said in most cases, and that's my point. Yankee fans don't care because much. You, because you put yourself in a very it, it, there's no comp. I can't come up with a comp. I, I, I tried to come up with one with like protecting Sam Rosen because there isn't a there isn't a full time play by play hockey guy that has a show where that would ever come up. Like Michael has a show. So it, it it's it's a very strange dynamic for you, Michael, because you can't be or I, I think you should be, Peter's encouraged you as well, but you're not full blown Yankee boy because you have a show and you want to be neutral. Fans don't want you to be neutral. So that's what makes you unique. Gary Cohen can be an unabashed Met guy. And he is. He grew up a Met fan, talks up uh, their history, um, and, and the fans love that about him. And then you've got Keith and, and Ron. They won championships here, or won a championship as Mets here, so they're beloved. Well, they're, well so, but Paul and, so, Paul and David have ten championships between them. 
Right, but the pro- I've told you, and again, Flip can get mad at me. I told you one of the one of the problems with the yes booth is is that you have a lot of different analysts coming in and out, so you don't have a booth. All right, because sometimes it's Paul, sometimes it's Cone, sometimes it's just Cones, and sometimes Flaherty comes in, and now you got Girardi. Like so, you it's very fluid. So there isn't a booth. And Jeff Nelson. But so you're just you know helping my argument. There's a bunch of different people. It's it's Gary, Ron, and Keith. On the rare exception, Gelbs comes in to fill in when Gary's on vacation. But for the most part, that's the booth. You're getting two of the three pretty much every single game. So you have different analysts, and you have the number the 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 linchpin, Michael K, who does a show where he's neutral and it probably ticks off Yankee fans because you're not waving the flag. No, 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 no. I think the Yankee fans want me to be negative. Now, I think that's why Met fans love the Met booth because the Met booth completely eviscerates them. Eviscerates the team when they're not playing well. I think and that's what Met fans are doing. That that endears them. That, that does endears endear them. them. And I don't but have it, that much to rip but, except but, but, for last but, year when they were terrible, right. they were eighty two and eighty. But for the most part, the, the, I've been but, the voice of the Yankees in one way or right. another for thirty three years. And but, then, you know, a lot of you, Yankee fans have chimed in today too. Not not a lot, but I hate K. Well, you know what? You got me for a long time, probably forty years. I hope right, I really, right. it so, really makes you know, me sad that I have completely sucked but, the life out of your enjoyment. I, I, you know how I feel about you and I and again I watch Watched every pitch last night on yes. Thank you. Because of you. Thank you. Because I love you. I love you back. You don't even have to. I'm still going to love you. But it hurts you that you're not Yankee boy. And 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 listen, if and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Michael. If the Yankees bottomed out, I don't think you would have done what Gary did uh, when they were 0-5. I don't think you would have done that. Uh, you know why? Because- I would. And I have when they play poorly. But but it wouldn't come. Here's the thing. It wouldn't come from a place of Yankee fan. It would have come from a place of observing the situation the way that it is. The perception is Gary is one of us. He's a Met fan calling our games. You have admitted you call games and there's a neutrality to you because you think that's important. And you will be... Some more excited for the Yankees because that's the broadcast, but you pride yourself on being a professional broadcaster that's not about waving the pom-poms for the Yankees or being a Yankee fan. And I think that alienates you from some of the Yankee fans because they want you to be like Gary. They want you to be like Sam Rosen. They want you to be like the guy that grew up the fan of that team and you're all the way behind them. But I am that not- guy. I am the guy who grew up as a fan. Right, but you but that's not what you portray when you're calling the games. You've said it. But I have I, I rip them when they're not playing well. As a professional. Well what well, Gary's a not, professional. No, Gary's a professional, but I said the perception is when he said when they were 0 and five, it feels like rock bottom, they feel like that's a Met fan saying what every Met fan feels at that moment. But, well, okay, so let me put it this way. We, we're up against the clock. Well, there's no clock. Well, we have Lupica on next. You don't want to keep oh, him I waiting. love Lupica. <laughs> I would say that of all the, the play-by-play guys in, in the city, Breen and I and Eagle might be the best. And that's not casting aspersions on anybody else. Right, but there's somebody, there's somebody in your mind has got to be number one, so you can own that. That's all right. Well, all right, so I'll say Breen because he's my best right. friend. But And I also think he's damn good. But, and Ian's terrific. And Ian's great too. He's a real good friend. But I will tell you this: as as maniacal as Nick fans are, if somebody ripped Mike Breen, they wouldn't have a concerted effort to go and destroy him the next day. I, again, I I have so much um, admiration for Met fans to love something so much that that there's no connection to other than between a TV screen. They are going absolutely ape over the fact that I defended that our booth is really good. That's all. I never said that. I would never say that Gary, Ron, and Keith but you, are great. Wasn't that, but wasn't that the most predictable outcome on Not Earth? to this level, Peter. Again, uh, I give them I, credit. Now, listen, the only reason I... 
I wouldn't have predicted it as if I didn't know that Awful Announcing would pick it up. But should it got, if you had said to me, hey, if someone rips this video and puts it up online, how do you think it's going to go? I'm going to say it's going to be absolutely colossal. Right. And, and, and also, and real quick, baseball is different than the other sports, too, because there's so many games. You're part of a soundtrack of a summer. It's a little bit different. So it's really hard to find a comp with the other sports because you're not nearly in the homes of people the way you are when you call baseball games. It's a different it's a different thing altogether. Yeah. Oh, I, I, and I get it. And I think it's wonderful that Met fans stick up for their booth. I just wonder why other teams, fan bases, don't defend their announcer that way. But I'm telling you, trust me, and people won't like this, it is the combination of Gary, Ron, and Keith being really good at what they do, the mix of baseball and like anecdotes and the way they do things. It's a mix of that and the Mets so often being frustratingly bad. That combo creates a special bond between them and their fan base. I'm telling you, that that's what it is. And what it, what it tells you, too, and this is actually good news for Mets fans, is when things are terrible, they still watch. But you've got to accept. I mean, I, I'm I'm the pot calling the kettle black here because I have my own issues. But you have you have to accept. <laughs> that's, why you have like, that's right. You have to accept though that you're never going to be that. You're well, I you're you. That. Nah, except to Jace, you're still fighting it. I trust me. I can hear the you you. No, you, but what I, am I fighting? I don't understand what you're saying. I accept it. I understand it. They're beloved, the, and I'm not beloved. I'm cool with it. I Thirty-three mean, I, years and counting. I'm going to be here a long time. <laughs> no, I know, but like, I just, I hope that I'm you doing know. Something right. I, I hope that you have an appreciation for the role that you do play, even if it's different than that. Because I go through that sometimes too, of beating myself up for not being one thing and not appreciating that I am another. If that makes sense. Beautifully said.